Since 1970, the world's population has doubled, from 3.5 to 7 billion human beings, and it is still continuously rising. The more people we become on the planet, the more space we require. We will need more houses, streets, offices, supermarkets and parking grounds. Even more, a larger population will require more food on the table, be it rice, pasta or potatoes, vegetables, meat or fruit. Both cities and farmland will spread out into present scrubland or woods. Large portions of rainforests will be cut and turned into cropland and pastures, just to guarantee a daily diet for everybody in a future world. However, if we continue deforestation, we risk wiping out thousands of unique species and losing the green lung of our planet, providing us with the oxygen we breathe. But how can we avoid that? It's simple. We will have to work with our existing resources and manage them more carefully and responsibly. That's where satellites can help us in manifold ways. Satellites image the globe precisely, down to the size of a single tree. They map the Earth regardless of borders, infrastructure or the goodwill of governments. And they do their observations regularly, delivering images day by day over a long, long period of time. The new European Sentinel-2 satellites combine all these skills in a sophisticated manner. Their cameras can see the different colours of light, each of them telling us a different story about our environment. For example, Sentinel-2 can see where forest is actually cut and how this affects the habitats. It can distinguish between a healthy tree and a dead one due to its infrared footprint, and between a lush meadow and a dry one or between rich and poor crop yield, making the difference between diet and hunger for millions of people. These images from space will promote stopping deforestation, be it illegal or undue, even in the most remote parts of the planet. Sentinel-2 images will teach us how to handle natural resources like water, manure and soil because we can see where they are needed and where they aren't. We can build new irrigation channels and avoid over-fertilising our fields. We can clear the stocks or build them up, just as the yield forecast tells. This is the incentive for the European Commission and the European Space Agency to join forces and operate the most sophisticated Earth observation satellite fleet in the world, called Copernicus. The Sentinel-2 satellite is just one of them. In fact, a very good one, to make our world a better place.